If someone does not smile at you, be generous and offer your smile. Nobody needs a smile more than the one that cannot smile to others. Through difficult experiences, life sometimes becomes more meaningful. Choose to be optimistic, it feels better. We often add to our pain and suffering by being overly sensitive, overreacting to minor things, and sometimes taking things too personally. Never give up, no matter what is happening, no matter what is going on around you, never give up. In disagreements with loved ones, deal only with the current situation. Don't bring up the past. Don't be a person of success, be a person of value. A sense of concern for others gives our lives meaning. It is the root of all human happiness. Compassion is the wish for another being to be free from suffering. Love is wanting them to have happiness. An open heart is an open mind. As you breathe in, cherish yourself. As you breathe out, cherish all beings. A tree with strong roots can withstand the most violent storm. But the tree can't grow roots just as the storm appears on the horizon. Know the rules well, so you can break them effectively. The greater the level of calmness of our mind, the greater our peace of mind, the greater our ability to enjoy a happy and joyful life. When you think everything is someone else's fault, you will suffer a lot. True friendship develops not as a result of money or power but based on genuine human affection. To be aware of a single shortcoming within oneself is more useful than to be aware of a thousand in somebody else. If you can do something about a situation, why worry? And if you can't do something about a situation, why worry? It is worth remembering that the time of greatest gain in terms of wisdom and inner strength is often that of greatest difficulty. Blessings don't come from outside, but from within. Whatever blessings we receive are the result of our efforts and positive actions. When reason ends, that anger begins. Therefore, anger is a sign of weakness. You have to start giving first and expect absolutely nothing. Some people, sweet and attractive, and strong and healthy, happen to die young. They are masters in disguise teaching us about impermanence. Every day, think as you wake up, today I am fortunate to be alive, I have a precious human life, I am not going to waste it. Women can lead us to a more peaceful world with compassion, affection, and kindness. Sleep is the best meditation. Smile if you want a smile from another face. The way to change others' minds is with affection and not anger. The more we care for the happiness of others, the greater is our sense of well-being. The real destroyer of inner peace is fear and distrust. Fear develops frustration, frustration develops anger, anger develops violence. The true hero conquers his anger and hatred. Happiness is not something ready-made, it comes from your actions. Love is the absence of judgment. The point of life is happiness. Remember that the best relationship is one in which your love for each other exceeds your need for each other. If you want others to be happy, practice compassion. If you want to be happy, practice compassion. Pain can change you, but that doesn't mean it has to be a bad change. Take that pain and turn it into wisdom. 
Today is the right day to love, believe, do, and mostly, live. The period of greatest gain in knowledge and experience is the most difficult period in one's life. A positive state of mind is not merely good for you, it benefits everyone with whom you come into contact, literally changing the world. If your heart has peace, nothing can disturb you. Feelings of anger, bitterness, and hate are negative. If I kept those inside me, they would spoil my body and my health. They are of no use. The way to overcome negative thoughts and destructive emotions is to develop opposing, positive emotions that are stronger and more powerful. Love and compassion benefit both ourselves and others. Your heart and mind will be peaceful and open. If you don't love yourself, you cannot love others. You will not be able to love others. If you have no compassion for yourself, you cannot develop compassion for others. The challenge today is to convince people of the value of truth, honesty, compassion, and a concern for others. Just as ripples spread out when a single pebble is dropped into water, the actions of individuals can have far-reaching effects. Don't let a little dispute injure a great relationship. Open your arms to change but don't let go of your values. If every eight-year-old in the world is taught meditation, we will eliminate violence from the world within one generation. There are only two days in the year that nothing can be done. One is called yesterday and the other is called tomorrow. Today is the right day to love, believe, do, and mostly live. If you think you are too small to make a difference, try sleeping with a mosquito. Just one small positive thought in the morning can change your whole day. Don't ever mistake my silence for ignorance, my calmness for acceptance, or my kindness for weakness. Compassion and tolerance are not signs of weakness, but strength. Give the ones you love wings to fly, roots to come back, and reasons to stay. Do not let the behavior of others destroy your inner peace. The planet does not need more successful people. The planet desperately needs more peacemakers, healers, restorers, storytellers, and lovers of all kinds. When you tell you are only repeating something you already know, but if you listen you may learn something new. Our prime purpose in this life is to help others, and if you can't help them, at least don't hurt them. If it can be solved, there's no need to worry, and if it can't be solved, worry is of no use. When you think everything is someone else's fault, you will suffer a lot. When you realize that everything springs only from yourself, you will learn both peace and joy. Anger, hatred, and jealousy never solve problems. Only affection, concern, and respect can do that. Be kind whenever possible. It is always possible. We can live without religion and meditation, but we cannot survive without human affection. My religion is very simple. My religion is kindness. Remember that sometimes not getting what you want is a wonderful stroke of luck. Forget the failures, keep the lessons. A heart full of love and compassion is the main source of inner strength, willpower, happiness, and mental tranquility.